Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. My name's Keith. Hey, wanted to do a, a little bit of a different uh, video today. Not really talk politics, just kind of have a casual conversation with you guys in the camera. Tell a little funny story that happened to me this morning. It, it was it was funny, and um, looking back, you know, <laughs> if if anybody saw me do it, they probably would have thought I was absolutely insane. So. Um, I got a couple things on my mind. So the first one is I'm thinking about changing the name of the channel because I believe, and I might be wrong, but I believe that my name, Conservative Patriot, is triggering YouTube's algorithm to not recommend my videos based on my channel name. There are other guys um, who do very similar uh, commentary that I do and they either use their name or their name plus something else um, in their in their channel name that has nothing to do with politics and they have like you know a hundred thousand no, subscribers or i have 539 wonderful subscribers but my subscriber count won't go past 541 it keeps dropping and then going back up dropping going back up so i'm going to put a poll up here I've never done it before. If you don't see a poll up here, um, sorry for looking at my monitor. If you don't see a poll up here, then I'm going to try to put it in the in the uh, description. Or if you don't see a poll, you can also write a comment. Let me know if you think I should change the channel name or um, keep it the same. And if you do think I should keep the change the channel name, do you have any suggestions? Um, my first name is Keith, so maybe something creative with my first name i'm not sure um second thing i want to tell i want to tell you the story so it's friday um i generally work out of my home office which is where i am right now um so i, I was getting done with a couple emails and it's been raining here for the past man it feels like months but it's it's, it's only been like four days but it's just been non-stop and the temperature went from like mid 70s to like 50 in like a day so it's kind of a shock to the system so today i decided you know i'm really into lawn care and i went out to to make sure that my lawn was looking good uh, i need to i need to mow it at a certain height so i can put fertilizer down and um <clears throat> etc so i went out mowed the lawn sucked up the leaves that were in the lawn i was just getting done and i'm, I'm putting my lawnmower away in my shed and right across so my shed's maybe like 30 feet away from a telephone pole or a power pole. And it, that that particular pole has a transformer on it. So keep in mind, like I said, it's been raining for the past few days. Um, and I hear across the street is the fire department. And I'm maybe three or 400 yards away from the fire department. But I hear... An argument. Sounds like a really bad argument. I'm not sure what the heck is going on. And all of a sudden I hear, bang! It's really loud. Bang! It sounds like a gun went off. I hit the dirt. I dove. I'm like, oh my god, I'm not getting shot. Pew, hit the dirt. It was like instantaneous. Like I was back in the army. Boom! On the ground. And I was like, what the heck is going on? So I'm like, stunned. Like, was that a gun? I'm like, oh my god, those people just shot... So one of those, those people just shot each other. You know, something crazy is going on. I get up, I go, and I, I'm like, "All right, that was funny." I'm laughing at myself. I'm I dust myself off. I'm like, I, "I'm not sure." And I, I still hear the people arguing. Um, pardon me while I turn my volume down here. Sorry about that. I hate when that happens. So, anyways, I hear, I still hear the people arguing. So I'm like, "All right, well." They didn't shoot each other, obviously, because they're still they're still talking. So I go in the shed, put the lawnmower in, and I notice that the light is off in the shed. I was like, oh, yeah, the heck is that? So I'm flip, playing with the switch. Like, did I blow a fuse? I have the breaker panel. No fuse is blown. No breakers tripped. Um, turns out it was the stupid um, transformer on the pole blew. And that was that bang. That was that loud bang. So I see it hanging down like whatever it is, that looks like a fuse hanging down so i'm like oh my god i'm like i just dove in the dirt because of transformer blue <laughs> so i'm thinking I'm like if anybody saw me they probably would have thought i was insane 
Anyways, that was funny. I thought it was funny. I got up and I'm, I usually don't think things like that are funny, but when it, it was just, it struck me as like, oh my God, I just dove in the dirt. I'm like, there's, there's nobody around here. But my reactions were like, okay, my instinct said, you need to dive right now. Um, so anyways, that was funny. The other thing I wanted to say is, you know, um, I'm not sure how many of you guys know this, but my wife's family owns a campground and Columbus Day weekend is our last, our last hurrah. Um, we can only have the campground open, I think 180 days out of the year. Otherwise it needs to be classified as, um, I think a mobile home park. And that means different power, different sewers, all that stuff, because it's basically a full-time, um, a full-time house now where people are living in. So you need to treat it like, uh, you know, an apartment complex kind of. So our town does not allow that, nor would we ever want to do that. So this weekend is the last weekend that we will be um, open for customers. And we do a big Halloween thing. So tonight, um, everybody's coming in. And I can hear people pass me right now going up the road with their campers. Uh, so everybody's checking in tonight. I'll go down there and cook, um, you know, dinner. We'll do like, you know, steak and cheese and um, chicken club sandwiches, hamburgers, hot dogs, that kind of stuff, chicken tenders. Um, tomorrow night we have a, a haunted hayride. A lot of the sites will they'll decorate and <clears throat> for Halloween, and we'll take uh, we have a, a really long trailer we put hay bales on, and we'll hook that up to our tractor. We'll drive that through the campground, <clears throat> and everybody can see all the the um, the sites that are all decorated. And then I believe my mother in law and father in law will drive around and pick the top three sites and those those three sites will all get you know some kind of prize whatever it is um you know free breakfast tomorrow or something um and then uh sunday we do um trick-or-treating for the kids so it starts at five o'clock so all the kids deck, um, get um, in their costumes and all the sites will have uh that are doing trick-or-treating will have flags on it says you know come on in and trick-or-treat here and it's pretty much everybody does it so the kids my kids will come out of trick-or-treating at the campground with more candy than actual halloween so it is ridiculous because i don't eat a lot of candy so i'm like oh my god just get it away from me um but it's it's so crazy the amount of candy that they get uh, and some people will set up uh haunted houses that people can go through it's really it's really a, a good time so if anybody's ever in connecticut and you want to go camping go to riverbend campground it's uh it's a good time and then on monday which is columbus day um kids don't have school so a lot of the families will they'll stay over and um i took the day off from work so i can actually do my normal sunday which is now monday morning cooking a breakfast so i cook breakfast on sunday morning or sunday and this time this time actually monday morning um, it's a good time. It's a, it's a fun weekend. It's kind of melancholy because it's, just, it's the end of the season. I know that my wife is kind of is happy about it because it's nonstop for six months, you know, seven days a week. She's out there working, you know, 12 hour days, um, nonstop. So she looks forward to the break. Um, I don't like it because then she doesn't get paid anymore. So that makes it hard for the winter time. Um, but it's a, it's a, a nice place to be and a nice place to have my kids grow up on or grow up at. So that's what's going. Um, like I said, be, at the beginning of the video, didn't really want to make this political. Just kind of wanted to talk to you guys, get some stuff out. Um, like I said, check for that poll at the beginning of the video, uh, whether or not I should change the channel name. Um, and if I should, uh, what it should be, just let me know and maybe I'll do that. I'm not sure how easy it is to do that. I think it's pretty easy to change the channel name. Um, but that's all I have. So have a great Columbus Day weekend, everybody. Um, the weather here in Connecticut should be getting better. It should be getting back up to close to, to 70 on, on Sunday and Monday. So that's, that's good. And uh, always remember to stay on the right side. Have a great rest of the day. Talk to you guys soon.